right, let's do this example problem on shear and moment diagrams right here. And uh, we got this beam that's pin supported. It's got a distributed load in this first third of two kit per foot. And then 30 kips concentrated at this point right here. And then uh, point B is a pin support and point A is a, a roller. Each span is, or this is five foot intervals, if you will, five, five, five. And, uh, um, and the way we're going to do this is, let's see, our approach real quick is going to be one, calculate reactions, two, uh, then draw the shear diagram, draw shear diagram. And we're going to do that graphically. So we're going to, you know, important relationship going left to right, DVDX is minus W. And then four, draw the moment diagram and this moment diagram that relationship is going to be dm dx equals v also going left to right and now we're going to calculate some reactions so you can skip this if you're good at calculating reactions otherwise calculate some reactions so let's see here calculate reactions let's see. x x factor okay no but here, A, Y, B, Y, B, X, okay, don't be ghetto, make a good drawing, use a straight edge, right, pass the F, E, all kinds of other things, okay, but here, so calculating reactions, I, I would say the best thing to do, you know, automatically, some of the forces equals zero plus to the right and bx equals zero that's a no-brainer i think the fastest way to solve for these reactions a y b y are just to do some moments about various points so here if i sum a moment about a equal to zero here positive then i would have let's see this resultant is 10 kips here the area of that is 10 kips and so i would have uh i would have let's see 10 kips times 2.5 feet uh, and this under moments about a minus 30 kip feet plus by times 10 feet equal to zero and that would tell me I have let's see here this is is that 2.5 times 10 is 25 that's 25 kip feet minus 30 kip feet plus by times 10 feet equal to zero and that tells me by is 0.5 kips and then i calculate i just i can use either equation i could take moments about b or just some forces in the vertical so i'll just some forces in the vertical here equal this way plus and i would have a y plus b y minus 10 kips equals zero and that tells me that a y is equal to uh 9.5 kips yay okay congratulations you have passed one question in statics all right but here let's move on now now that you have it you know one thing you want to do this is like a mechanical process if you will you want to make a drawing with your whole beam okay so hopefully you're doing that right now as you go maybe you can you're even like racing in front of me right it's like a race okay but you want to draw if you're practicing this as you're watching the video which i highly recommend make it like a race you know what i'm saying but here I'd have, oh gosh, I'd redraw this. So I, I want to redraw this. This is kind of a, a step that not everyone, no one ever really mentions. But redraw with uh, reactions and loads. Okay. So that you can have a clean drawing. Use a straight edge. Be an engineer. Right. And here, you, we're going to redraw this. So bam, 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 and bam bam and bam like that and i have let's see i have a distributed load here of two kip per foot i have a reaction here of 9.5 kips a reaction here of 0.5 kips and a concentrated moment here of 30 kip feet and let's make sure that i did that correctly yes i did and here my dimensions are as 
they're still the same obviously and here boom 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 five 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 it's like a herman cain plan all right so five 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 right anyway so here except it was nine 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 but anyway that's blah blah blah, blah. okay who cares all right so here now we're ready to draw the drawing right and so the thing to do you've probably done this quite a bit is draw using a straight edge edge some lines okay and so bam and really the thing to do the place to draw these lines the draw lines at discontinuities okay discontinuities and what is a discontinuity it is wherever that at a begin at at beginnings and ends of distributed loads, okay, uh, at concentrated forces, at um, concentrated forces, that, that includes, this, this subheading includes reactions, okay, because, you know, this, this reaction right now, as far as we know, is a concentrated load that's pushing up on this on the beam right here reactions and then at concentrated moments okay and that that that'll do it okay that'll do it so so if i look here i have the beginning of a distributed load i have the end of a distributed load plus a concentrated load there so i'm going to draw a line there and then i've got the a concentrated moment and i have a uh, concentrated load here bam or a reaction and so then this will be my shear diagram right here and i don't really know what that's going to look like yet but we will proceed from there and i will have a moment diagram line i'm going to give myself some space and and maybe go right about here oh what the heck happened my my line little shifted a little bit oh man don't judge me judge yourself okay and here, this will be units of kips and kip feet. So always label your axes. And technically speaking, this is the x axis. It's along the length of the beam. Okay. So here, so hopefully, starting for the shear diagram, uh, you know, you have technically speaking right at this point right here. If I if I could zoom in right there, I have this cut, and there's no distributed loading yet. So my shear that would be here is actually equal to zero. Right? Otherwise, this thing would be moving and all that. So, so I start off. I know that this is zero right here. Bam, zero. And then I'm because I know my relationship d v d x equals minus w. This w is two kip per foot. So I'm decreasing at a slope of two kip per foot. So negative two is my slope here. Bam, negative two. And my change in shear is equal to the area under the distributed load which in this case is this area right here and that area is two kip per foot times five feet which is 10 kips and so i would go down at a rate of two kip per foot all the way down to 10 kips right here this would be minus 10 kips okay i feel like i've done this example somewhere i've done so many stupid shear moment diagram problems this looks really familiar all these numbers anyway then I have here a concentrated load, and really, as long as I have this going left to right, I just follow the direction of that, that concentrated load. And so I'm going to go up 9.5 kips, and that's going to take me to 0.5 kips. And this is probably not to scale, but that change right here is 9.5 kips, which gives me a value here of 0.5 kips. And I'm going to go straight across, bam, right there. And really, my concentrated moment does nothing to my shear. So I keep going straight across all the way over right here. And then I, you know, this 0.5 kips pushes me back up, if you will. But that's, that's going to be 0.5, negative 0.5 kips right there. And so your shear diagram will look like that, essentially. Now we're ready to do the moment diagram. And in this moment diagram, which, let's see, can you see orange? Now how about purple? Let's use purple. So dm dx equals shear. So the slope of my moment diagram is equal to the value of my shear. The other thing I have here is that, that my loading here is a uniform. It's a constant. 
So I like to put a little notation. This is constant. I have zero, zero loading in these regions, okay, between discontinuities, if you will. And so here I know that this, the antiderivative of a constant, is a linear function or is a function of x. And this right here, antiderivative of x, is going to be x squared, right? And then same thing here. This is going to be a constant, which it is, constant. And then I expect that my moment diagrams here will be linear, okay? All right, that's good, okay? So now I also know that here, if I go back to this little joint right here, this moment, because I have no loading here on this joint, this moment is zero, so I know I start at zero here, okay? And in general, when you have a free end, you're always going to start at zero, okay? This is a free end. So you start from zero here, and you know that the change in shear, in moment, the change in moment is equal to the area under the uh, shear diagram, okay, the, ch the change right here. And so I have a, this right here, this region right here, the area of this is one half base times the height of this area right here. So that's going to be one half times 10 times five, which is 25 kip feet. And because I'm, it's a negative area, if you will. It's below the curve. I'm going to be decreasing down from 0 to negative 25. That's just going to be negative 25 kip feet. And now I have a choice. I have, I know that it's parabolic. When it's parabolic, I know that I can either be going like this or I could be going like this. And the way you know which diagram it is is based on the slope, this relationship here. Okay, and here the value of my shear is zero, so the slope of my moment diagram at this point should be zero. Yeah, zero. Oops, I, and the wrong one got erased. Shame on, on that one. Okay, so how do I get rid of that? I need to get rid of this. Bye bye, bye bye. And so the correct, the correct drawing, if you will, should be like that. And that should have been parabolic, x squared, like this. Bam! Okay? Then I have, what's more, a again, this area over here. This area over here. And, uh, um, and you know, it's like, what the heck? It's Well, it's, it's constant, so I know my graph is going to be linear now. And the change here, this area here is, uh, let's see, 0. 0.5 times 5. So that's 2.5 kip feet. Bam, so I'm going to decrease even more, 2.5 kip feet, and it's going to be linear, so I know, and my slope, the slope here is 0.5 kip per foot. So the slope here, this is, I guess, an important point right here, is this slope right here is the value, because it's constant right here, this slope right here is negative 0.5, or it's a 0.5 kip per foot slope, if you will. Okay, and so this number right here, the change, Going from here to here, it should be uh, 2.5 kip feet. And that means this number right here is negative 27.5. I don't need to put units because I put the units on the axes over here. Okay, And so here I have that. Now, the thing that people run into with the concentrated moment is when it's drawn like this, it's, do I jump up or do I jump down? Okay, there's a concentrated moment. There's going to be a shift up or down. Okay, and and really, it, the, you could you could go through the deal of making a cut on this joint. Like you could isolate this joint right here. You would say I've got, you know, I've got this concentrated moment at 30 kip feet over here. I have a negative 27.5, which is actually a moment going like this. Negative 27.5. This is 27.5 right here. And then what's the moment on the 30 kip feet right here okay but what's the what's the moment here what is this moment value right to maintain equilibrium and you would say that oh based on this right here the moment value on the other side of the concentrated moment is actually supposed to be 30 minus 27.5 so because I, I have to have equilibrium of the joint is 2.5 kip feet and you would say oh this value right here should be 2.5 kip feet Okay, that's one way to do it. The way I do it, which is uh, a little, uh, you know, it's just like a rule of thumb deal, is 
I, I I actually erase this right here. And really what you know, this is like my own little rule of thumb and it's and it's tested and it's works. Okay. And if you're going left to right, what I would do is instead of drawing the concentrated moment on the right side of the point, draw it on the left side of the point. Okay. So this arrow is the exact same thing as what I had before, which was this. Okay, that means the exact same thing. And if you draw it like this, that you'll see the arrow points up, if you will, right? And that means you should jump up 30 kip feet. So I would say this distance right here, this distance from, from here to here is 30 kip feet. Oh, I know this is getting sloppy. Okay, my apologies for that. And then I have the rest of this right here is going to be that it's also 2.5 kip feet and i'm decreasing again because i have a negative uh shear value and i end up back down to zero and hopefully i can draw that bam like that that should be a line to zero that's zero right there and here's that 2.5 kip feet and so my moment diagram looks like this i'm shading it in so that you can see it better maybe right here there's that moment diagram here and here. Bam. Okay. So hopefully that, that was an explanation and worked for you. Enjoy. Don't forget to keep your units. Stable your axes. Be anal retentive about that kind of stuff, right? Because it's all about credibility, man. Anyway, anyway.